What is going on y'all? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Today, exciting video, exciting day today. Um, this video might be cut into multiple days or you might just start recording in the morning and then start recording again in the afternoon. So we'll see what happens. But it's a big day today, breeder pens. That's what we're focused on. Strictly a breeder pens. A1 spawns in more particular. We're darting all his fawns. He either has eight to nine fawns, eight or nine fawns. We're darting all his fawns, tagging them, registering them, and transferring them into different pens um, that are still, still up in the breeder pen area. Transfer different pens. The bucks, A1's bucks are gonna go in one pen, and then his does are gonna go to a separate pen. For right now, it's about, it's about 6.30, 7 o'clock right now. It's pretty cold outside. Uh, I'm with Connor. Uh, he's gonna be helping me out today as well as Derek and the ranch manager Eric. Uh, so we have a couple guys, but um, We're gonna head up to the pens Get all the pens ready for these deer to go in um, The bucks are gonna be going with Hercules, Hercules and Ace, so they're already good But the, the, the Fondos they're gonna be going in a brand new separate pen So we need to go up there check the water check the food get everything situated as well as close and open some gates um, Just just check the whole scenery before we put actual deer in there. So that's where we're heading right now See y'all at the pens. Right, first thing first, of course we got the electric fence. Always want to make sure, turn this baby off. I've still yet to get shot, uh, just cause it's always on my mind, but you just never know. Always shut that guy off. Uh, this pen right here and the pen behind it, these are the pens that I'm gonna be putting those, those female uh, fawn does in. So I'm gonna check them out, check the water, check the food, clean it all out as well as make sure the gates close or open back there. I'm still deciding what, what I'm gonna do there, but we're gonna go ahead, go inside the pens and take a look. This is our protein. Um, we will be filling this up later today. I'm not gonna fill the whole thing up later today. We get some food in there for, for these deer. Go ahead and check, check it. See how clean it is and stuff like that. Pretty good. Show y'all what it looks like inside here real fast. So this holds protein, self-serve. These deer can come here anytime and eat. Um, and th these will be filled from now all the way, all the way to August. Um, keep these deer healthy, give them the right nutrition. We feed record rack protein and uh, just get them on the right track. Water looks pretty good. Pipes are all going, no overflows. Back when the freeze happened, um, I guess last week, the snowstorm here in Texas, all of our water got shut off. Um, we, had, we had pipe issues, leaks, so we had to end up shutting all the water off of the pens. Um, they had, the deer had no water for four days. Um, so ranchmen had to come here every day and basically hand, hand feed them water, uh, had buckets for them. So it was tough. Glad we got everything back and uh, working, but that was definitely definitely a process for a good, for a good week. So this is a good overhang for the summer. It gets hot, 100, 105 degrees. These spawns are gonna have to have a place to hide. Um, the grass gets pretty tall in here, so they'll be able to bed up. But overhangs are critical, they are a must. Um, so this one looks pretty good, well sturdy. Um, and definitely gonna be a place where these, these deer are gonna be most of the time. Like I said, we're putting A1s, does, the female fawns in this pen right here. So what I'm doing, closing this gate. I don't want those fawns to be going back and forth between the different pens. So we're gonna keep them concentrated in this pen. It's a pretty big pen, as y'all can see right here. The pen, pen's all set up for that. We're gonna head head over to the shop. Um, I'm just gonna explain some stuff to y'all. We still have an hour before the ranch manager get here, uh, since he's gonna be helping us out today. So I'm gonna head over there, show y'all a little bit about the tagging system, why I'm registering them, and just a little bit more information uh, about exactly what we are doing today. Uh, so these are the tags that we're going to be using for today. Uh, we have anywhere from eight to nine fawns that we are tagging. On the front of the tag, you have a breeder ID number, and on the back, you got a unique number. Uh, each number is different for the front and the back, as you see right here. A25, A26, we have an A31, and then on the back, AL7V, AL7W, AL18. So they're, they're all different. Um, that's for registration. 
you see right here, everything you don't want into documents. Um, we write them all on the paper. Buck, he's gonna be for A24. That's the ID number and the unique numbers right there. This is a big book that everything gets put into permits, transfers, other documents, information on my other videos with the aerial views um, of the patent that are in here. You have the deer permits, um, information, questions about deer breeding in general, unique numbers, the current deer. Every deer that is in those pens are registered in this book. Any deer that dies, deaths are in here, transfers, it's all in here, as you see. Look at, look at the book, I mean, it's huge. Documents, documents, you could read for hours, days about this stuff. So they're leaving the players right now. It's me and Connor. Uh, we're about to start darting some fawns, put some corn out, and hopefully they'll start coming in. And uh, we can get we can get we can get these guys on the ground. We're currently hiding behind a uh, little little gate here. They have no idea that we're here. Um, we got the dart gun, and uh, we're ready to roll. Just started a uh, one of the buck fawns. Give him about 10 minutes. I'm gonna try to dart another one. Tell him that we got two, but we're gonna give it probably. 10, 15 minutes, these, these fawns should go down pretty fast. We're using one cc dart. Um, and then we're gonna go in there and we're gonna go get them both out of here. That far side? Uh, no crate on this side. Just, just okay. down the street, just fence the line. Yeah, we saw them uh, looking at something. We're like, what's going on? They got the stretcher. And uh, we're gonna try to get both of them out at the same time with that one stretcher. See if we can put them both on there, they're small, so. Okay, we got one buck, one uh, uh, fondo. So uh, one of those bucks is gonna go in that far pen, the other one's gonna go in that other pen that we were in this morning, getting ready. Nubbins right there, starting to grow. Um, this one hasn't hasn't popped out. <clears throat> I mean, you can see his horns, his antlers are barely, barely right there. I think on one of them, they're actually sticking through a little bit. Um, but he is sound asleep. You got 24, number 24 tag, you do that one. Yep. Okay. Four with the hair sample. Bag. So y'all, we have the breeder ID number, which is A24. That was gonna go with this buck. We have the un unique number, which is on the back, 8L7T. And then Eric's also, we have to tattoo the deer as well, and that's gonna go on the back of the ear. So he's making up the tattoo um, unique number as well right now. Eight L seventy. This is a tattoo ink, actually. Tattooed. For the hair sample, part of the back of the tail. Like that.
see y'all. This is the uh, first doe um, fawn. She's doing in that fence that we prepped this morning. We still have a bunch of other fawns um, that are females that need to go in this pen. And that other buck is going to go in that pen right beside it. Um, so I need to untangle this. She got the uh, her tag in her hair sample's been pulled, and she's got the uh, tattoo unique number tattooed in her as well. She's she's, she's good to go. It's here reversal one cc we put one cc in them one cc in reversal all you're doing put them right in their back hind quarter bam she's good to go Got the reversal. One CC again, reversal. Put it right in his high quarter. Slide that. He's good to go. All right, so we got two deer down so far. We still have another six, maybe seven more to go. Um, getting some more darts. And then uh, head back out there. We're gonna try to dart, maybe two more. It's starting to get a little warm, so we're not gonna be able to get the whole herd right now. Um, like I said, this might be a, another day kind of thing we might come back later tonight when it cools down and dart some more um, but hope you all are liking the process if you have any questions drop drop your questions down in the comment section below i'll gladly answer them whether in a video next video or just i'll just comment right right below there